Hey YouTube. I'm sorry about my beginnings. My computer like to freeze up and stuff. I thought I'd just come on here and answer a question that a lot of people have asked me in my lifetime. And that comes back to the whole question about race, um, my stance on it, or how I feel about being half black, half white, um, there's such a thing. First of all, I'm just saying that in America, it is my belief at least, that in America, the one drop rule still applies. Um, regardless of whether that's just how our society is or how uh, I do give my answer of how I feel with it. Um, I was raised by my father's side. My father's side is black, my mother's side is black. Um, I was raised by my father uh, and my father's side, my mother. My mother's side really had no involvement except for my aunt Lee. Let me put uh, that out there right now. Um, my aunt Lee was the only person who had put into the instrumental role in my life uh, from my mother's side, beyond my mother. Um, Basically, um, the way it felt when I was younger was that that me and brother, my sister, um, being interracial, being my my grandmother on the mother's side, uh, only grandchildren that were interracial or black or any other race besides white, that um, we were kind of just kind of black listed, I guess. We we were given the same treatment. Which is, uh, not right for any child, um, especially a young child that's still trying to, you know, make sense of the world, their place in the world. Um, so, I never really had a connection to that side, you know. Um, I was living on my father's side, um, my grandmother, you know, I lost my mother when I was 13. I lost my mother, um, 13, you know, that's tough for any child. But luckily, I had the support system from my grandmother's side, you know, my father's side, that, you know, they were willing to step in and take the burden, um, which is admirable and hard to find these days. My grandmother was a great woman. I love her so much, you know. She, uh, she helped the raise She taught me a lot about what a, a, a good person is and a true person is. Um, we just recently lost her January 6th of this year. Um, and that's really, you know, had me wondering what's what is this whole world about? Um, someone like her can go. Um, I like what she taught me, you know, about what, what, what life is about. But, um, uh, a proud black woman, um, she's from Georgia, Dewey Rose, Georgia, in Albert City, uh, well, Albert County, Dewey Rose, Georgia, which is in Albert County, I'm sorry for the question. Dewey Rose in Albert County, Georgia, uh, the northeast part of DC, right underneath the Partwell, by like Tacoa, Georgia. Um, she came here in 1940 to Baltimore, where I was born and raised all my life. Um, she came here and started a family during the, you know, times of segregation, um, all types of racist, uh, sentiments that were still very, very prevalent at the time. I mean, to this day still is and still helped to, to shape my life and what I believe is true. Um, especially regarding race in America. Um, in America, these days a lot of people say, you know, you're black and you're white. Um, that's one of the biggest contradictions I've ever heard in my life, you know. Um, in this society, you can't be both. You can't one day decide I'm going to be black, the other day I'm going to be white. It doesn't, it doesn't work that way, you know. And, um, I've always considered myself black, you know. I've never said I'm black and white. I know. Um, maybe I was going to say mixed, but, I, I mean, I, anybody asked me, I'm black. They would say, well, you have to be something else. I mean, your mother's white, but that doesn't, uh, race is a social construct that is very, very, uh, important in this, in this country, in our, in our society, in our beliefs. You know, you have to be something you can't. Everybody has to be something, uh, so sometimes they can be nothing. At least in somebody else's eyes. So I'm a proud black American. Um, I believe strongly in my, my African roots. Uh, I love discovering new things with my African ancestry. Unfortunately, because of the the history of our country, um, it's a very real reality that I'll never know exactly where my family comes from. I mean, I know my mother's side is from 
Ireland originally. Um, beyond that, you know, I don't know them. My, my parents come from that's why I have such a strong affinity for uh, for my African ancestry, and I feel so so connected to the entirety of, of Africa, you know, and especially Pan African. You know. Um, I go to Howard University, which is a historic black college or university. Or in this case, of course, a historic black university. Um, with a very rich story, legacy, uh, and history that um, I think all black Americans should be proud of. Whether you go to Morehouse, Howard, Tuskegee, Spelman, uh, University of Maryland Eastern Shore, uh, Fisk. I mean, the list goes on and on. There's so many. So many great institutions of higher learning that that real people have continued to uh, allow to prosper, and some of the greatest you know, gifted minds come from. Um, you know, it'll be so much. It's so easy for people in my you know situation that are that are a product of an interracial relationship to to claim one side or the other when it's when it's more convenient. Um, one of my favorite quotes by Martin Luther King is the optimism of a man or a woman, that would be politically correct. Uh, it's not where he or she stands in a time of comfort and convenience, but where he or she stands in a time of co conflict and controversy. That nothing comes from, from a life filled, uh, you know, with, with no type of problem. Um, so I'm willing to take on those problems, you know. I mean, I'm a black man, you know, that, that just comes inherently with the, with the territory. So, uh, you know, this whole notion of, well, what are you? I am what I am, you know, back to Descartes. Uh, I am, therefore I am, you know. But I want to think, uh, you know, what a lot of people uh, believe, Paul on Stumbar, about the notion of uh, I think, therefore I am. Um, I am what I am, and that's that's you know that's what it is, especially in this this American society and this uh, this concept that we can you know we built of race and the importance of it all is in our system. Um, because I live in the system, I have to conform to the system's rules and, and beliefs and if I'm going to fit into the norm of that society. Um, so I have to be something, and I choose to be black. You know, there's, there's no doubt about it. And if you look at any of my other videos in the light, you know, you see I'm a very light individual. Um, this is me being real, um, being really frank. Um, there's, a, there's, there's so much more, there's so many things that you learn in the uh, black community that you know, I've never really had an opportunity of experiencing, you know, the white side. But from what I've, uh, you know, experienced and what I've noticed and, and been able to, to digest and interpret, you know, you know, there, there's, there's nothing, there's nothing comparable to it. It's a beautiful thing. So my dying breath, I'll be a black man and be proud of that. And, uh, that's just my little, my little tidbit on what, how I feel about race, uh, and being a, a biracial mixed person. You know, my father said, you know, there's no such thing as a mixed person. But I'm gonna leave that alone. I'll see you tight out there.